Like a mother, like son, looks like Victoria may have taken a page out of Jason's book to try to join alliances with people who actually cannot stand them. Stay tuned and let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode of Ruthless TV, where I break down Tyler Perry's The Oval scene by scene. Now, let's get into this video. So, we have a set of new besties on the set. Now, it's a challenge for me to believe that Victoria actually wants to be friends, like real friends, with Lily. Why? Why does she want to be friends with Lily? Now, it's either Victoria is actually just that lonely and desperate for some company, or she has something up her sleeves. In their scene together on the last episode, Lily reminded her that in their last encounter, Victoria insulted her designs by calling them cheap knockoffs and was downright rude to her when she hung up the phone in her face while trying to schedule for Lily to come over with her sketches. Now, I do applaud Lily for speaking her mind with Victoria. She basically told her in so many words, you're a little rough around the edges and need to embrace your feminine energy a little bit more. Now, if we look at it, Lily is very soft and sophisticated sophisticated and classy feminine right and first lady does carry a lot of masculine energy right because she's a bully <laughs> victoria knows how to turn it on and off though right she knows how to soften up when she needs to just ask sam mm -hmm. so lily just told her straight up we're gonna be friends you're gonna need to work on this 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 and that and she ran off a whole laundry list of things for victoria to fix about herself and i'm sure lily is feeling like look if we're gonna be good friends you need to be a little bit more like me and turn that feminine energy all the way up and she's right because victoria rarely smiles right she's always walking around mad beating up hunters mistresses fighting with their kids and her husband and just being downright mean and nasty to people right and victoria received the criticism very well she may not have agreed with everything but she didn't put up much resistance and even told lily that she can actually teach her how to walk in her heels Victoria says that because they're both in precarious relationships with their husbands, that maybe they can lean on each other, be there for each other, because they're going to need each other very soon. So I think that Victoria knows that the curtain may be closing in on her and Hunter's time at the White House. She may feel that she needs someone who she can halfway trust just so that she can have support in all of her mess. And she knows that Donald is gay and she knows that Lily knows that he's gay, but no one else knows. So she feels that she has a common ground and foundation to start building some sort of friendship with her but Lily is a good one I don't think I will be able to just let my guard down to be friends with someone like that you know someone who insults my work criticizes my husband and my marriage with slick comments and mean remarks and remember Lily actually rode to Denise's shop with the first lady when she went there to beat her up for sleeping with Hunter so she knows what type of evil Victoria is I just don't see how this is gonna work it's like mixing oil and water let me know what you guys think are you guys buying this new friendship could Victoria have something up her sleeves or is she genuinely desperate for some true friends? Let's keep this conversation going. Drop me a note in the comments and let me know what you think about this new brand new relationship. And don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And I'll see you on the next one.